peace peace power soul elevated activation and beyond the voids of creations we are the united Futuritarians coming to you all live from paradise las vegas nevada as for ones walking with ones for true 11 in this power state once more for true 11 in this power state bringing forth equality balance for the equal symbol when you turn 11 horizontally and vertically when you leave 11 by itself what does it create the pause we're putting a pause on a limitation of the mind and soul it's us being limitless souls and limitless minds moving forward into more leadership fellowship as the soul council not the dragon council not the elect 144,000 but the 200 rising the elect 200 rising and the elect chosen ones today's topic is sun shift or sun shifts or solar shifting so basically we're witnessing our sun going through an evolution everyone's now focusing oh my god did you see what happened to the sun it's that that CME or that solar flare was a was a class X solar flare or class M solar flare so yeah you know there's been uh, everyone's attention is being drawn towards the Sun or what's happening in the skies a lot of shifting the Sun shifting our universe shifting obviously our planet is shifting you and I are shifting hopefully you're shifting but the point being is there is a lot of evolution or soul evolution of the solution which we call the soul's evolution or the soul evolution solar evolution taking place in all facets of life or transforming and transferring when it comes to the energy that become or the outergy that becomes energy and likewise likewise we become outergy once we break out of the so-called uh, infinite state physically but our souls and minds like I said we are able to project our souls and minds forward into the future or like I said within our minds being able to remotely view but, but through our souls being able to project or propel as we keep on leveling up and gaining more momentum whether it be in this state and any future states so yes today's topic is sun shifts yes there is the gradual or I want to say increasing focus on our sun like I've said before We've said before, but the moon does not evolve. The moon's not evolving. The moon's not growing. And that's not a shot at anybody that's uh, who's still spiritual. But we, we consider the moon of the spiritual frequencies or of the uh, spirits, the water energy, because the moon does control the tides on the planet. And we say that the sun, a.k.a., which is the soul or the solar influence or the solar intelligence, is, like I said, the reason for this uh, gradual speeding up even though people might def might might say that it, I guess things aren't speeding up or because it's winter time quote unquote that everything's starting to like I said slow down or like I guess I really think it's just like a it's a mental aspect it's based on perception but because of us doing a lot of things we're constantly moving and doing a lot of things to us it feels like time is just melting or not even really a factor anymore it's melting away or it's dissolving time dissolves or, or it will dissolve or it is dissolving because we're coming together as the council and working together as the council so like I said you know these days will begin to speed up so you're thinking like you know it's, it's one week but that week is flying by like ain't nothing because we're, we're having to do more we're actually involving ourselves more within our community or like I said actually implanting our minds and our souls or uh, implanting the future talk in, in planting the future conversations when it comes to uh, like I said talking to other people around us or like I say you know when it comes to us actually bringing forth this uh, new and next intel so the intel is what is overriding the past and present and like I said what is the intel or like I said the, the intel goes back to the so-called uh, sun shift or the solar shift but sun shifting but the sun rep representing the soul so the solar shifting but solar shifting that's taking place as far as just um, in the space in place and like I said we had an incident where last week obviously people have heard the news about T-Mobile and certain cell phone providers uh, losing connection people might assume or they, they, they might have thought it could have been hacking or it but a lot of people a lot of us felt that it was due to the so-called solar rays or the, the radiance from our Sun or from the magnitude of the radiance from all of our suns so 
of the like I said, that that constant, uh, how I want to say, the constant streamlining of, like I said, high level power or that, that, that high level energy when it comes into the state is definitely uh, offsetting or overriding the artificial intelligence. So you have the organic intelligence that is offsetting or overriding the uh, the artificial intelligence. So we're not pushing forth the AI, but we're only pushing forth the uh, what's truly organic or what's truly, uh, truly of the future. Not what's of the past and present. Not what you can find on the internet. Maybe, of course, you're able to find this topic being pushed around a lot, but not being broken up to the, like I said, to the aspect of, okay, the future purpose. You know, why is this happening? Why? Why now? When this could have happened, you know, years ago, but more so because of our alignment, our connection to the source, becoming more uh, solar-based beings and less spiritual beings because our gravitational pull or our attraction, our focus on the suns, on the stargates and portals is becoming a lot more stronger. So less spiritual, as we say, dealing with the moon and more soulful dealing with the suns on suns on suns on suns because there are more suns than there are moons in the universe or within the void of creations there are more power sources aka transformers and transfers in our universe in our galaxy <coughs> than there are moons <coughs> moons are only buffers for certain planets that uh, cannot uh, naturally uh, are not not naturally able to stabilize but direct energy from the sun so you have to have the moon as like a kind of like a backdrop or like a projection screen as it's broken up to me by my mentor pretty much but like I said we we further understand everything in the future or we come to recognize and reflect when it comes to what we are in the future so we're only reflecting what soul power <laughs> soul intelligence when it comes to just like I said what are we like made up of or like I said our energy that we are putting out here is that solar intelligence that's the war as far as like the mental charge and the soulful charge but it's all solar intelligence at the end of the day so that being said uh, sun shifts a lot of so-called uh, solar events second place like I said maybe not even here but in other so-called spaces and places, but there's a so-called chain reaction of uh, solar bombardment. Solar bombardment when it comes to the shifting and the uh, the, ev the evolution of us being these solar beings. But like I said, everything from this dimension on up is being shifted because of because those sounds up there. Like I said, it's like a chain reaction because there is a transforming and transferring of power from uh, outside of the so-called uh, Earth dimensions. Like I said, like I said, now we're seeing more, like I said, uh, talks and focus about, yeah, you know, we need to become more focused on the sun and we are the future. We, we've been pushing that for quite some time, but now it's beginning to catch up because a lot of people have recognized, well, yeah, you, you know, they're actually right about, you know, the moon being secondary. Why not align to the source? So it's like everything is further um, happening the way it's going to happen as far as just the uh, alignment, us being aligned as one. Now, like I said, no matter how hard people try to fight against the the uh, evolution, it will still happen regardless. Whether I'm here, whether the council's here right now, but like I said, there will still be those ones, those elect, those uh, elect chosen ones, those elect two under rising, that will further be sparked by way of the intelligence, the solar intelligence that is being received, or the army intel that's that being received by us as the council. So uh, yes, we are the United Fugitarians as Activisionists, Activisionists, ones walking with ones, only bringing forth uh, the oneness, the unity, by what? Through our solar gene, because it's, it's about the souls coming together, the souls working together in the future, for the future, because you know, that's, that's all that we need is, is soul power. We don't have to have alternative power to keep us going anymore. We used to because we didn't understand that we were further primary, primary or primal beings when it comes to being aligned with the primary source, soul power, or solar intelligence. 
So like I said, you know, having to, you know, we, we graduated past the spiritual realm to become aligned as one in the soulful realms and beyond the so-called soulful realm, going beyond soul to become the omni source, the omni force. We are activationist, activationist, but united futurians. So like I said, us being future beings, like I said, future minds, future souls, the future intelligence movement. Because no one's talking about the intelligence movement or, or a, like I said, as far as the black community goes, the African American community goes, like there is no talk, talking about intelligence. Everything they're talking about is, is information based. And that's why you don't have a so called um, a black intelligence group. No BIAs, <laughs> none, none of that. You, you have the so called black race, quote unquote, following behind the so called uh, people who are of mankind. <clears throat> which is why there hasn't been any evolution within the so-called quote-unquote black race or african-american race because they're still following behind and trying to recreate what's already been created already so how is that original how is that new how is that truly of the in you if you're still trying to recreate what, what, what was already here or trying to relive uh, in past societies whether you're talking about Egyptology Kemeticism that's not a solar shift. That's like a solar revolution. Or that's a revolution because you're revolving or going inside of a circle or a loop. The hamster process. The infinity symbol. That's why it has to be a sun shift or a solar shift. We call it a sun shift because people only can grasp any... They can't grasp the soul unless you're saying... Right, well, they can't grasp soul power. Well, we're not saying everybody can't 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 quite grasp what what soul is or soul power is or what exactly it stems from. But like I said to the like I said regular viewers here <laughs> out there, we're saying that when it comes to uh, the aspect of soul power and solar intelligence, it, it's the uh, driving force or it's the key as far as just life growth. When it comes to, like I said, everything that we've come, come to see within this, this so-called realm, but everything that everything that promotes growth, like I said, as we've seen, you know, it, it takes a little bit of light, or it takes a little bit of radiance, that heat, and what they consider light, aka the brightness, to further grow the crops here on, on the so-called uh, land this plane here. So you have to have the the, the the radiance, the heat, the energy, or the outer energy that becomes energy once it is further implanted like how you plant the seed and you, you know you have to have all the elements you know the water the soil and the heat the radiance so for example you know you could actually have a very very bright light source but if it's not given enough heat then it's basically not not going to basically do what you want it to do like for example like you might have these very very bright light bulbs but if it's not putting out enough heat or emitting enough radiance, then it won't grow anything. So, you know, just a tip for people who are growing their own plants out there indoors, you know, you you, you, you have to have enough, I mean, the appropriate uh, lighting or the radiance as well too. Lighting, radiance, as well as the proper ventilation too. So you don't want to cook your plants or anything. <laughs> but other than that, yes, uh, today's topic is uh, sun shifts or talking about the solar holocaust solar revolution whatever you want to call it but the solar implantation the uh, omni implantation when it comes to the intelligence that we're all receiving or you should be able to receive especially with the high levels of radiation that are uh you know that that we're experiencing that we're in in these days and times a lot higher than they were back in obviously the 1800s and 1900s but we're heading into a, a next era a new age a radiant a bright a brighter age because of the brighter minds our minds will become a lot more faster when it comes to processing the intelligence the ray codes or solar codes that are streamlining into our atmosphere so that's why it's about being mentally ready mentally prepared for growth evolution but like I said being able to process and channel going beyond of the worldly focus that people have right now but our minds are open for receiving the necessary or needed intel to keep us ahead of the game or beyond the game because we're not playing the game.
a lot of y'all still want to play the game, you know, shake hands with mankind, you know, eat at the table. Like I said, you know, we're not sitting up here saying that we're racist or anything, but we're saying that, you know, we know that it's about our ourselves as a collective when it comes to the empowerment. You know, we can't include everybody in everything that we do. So trying to include everybody in what we do doesn't make us unique anymore. It, it basically takes away our uniqueness and, and our power within our uniqueness. And that, that can be kind of confusing. Like, what do you mean? We, we can't be working with other people. And I'm not saying that, but I'm like, there, there, there has to be, you know, our power structure, our power base. Everybody else has their own power structure and their own power base. But the so-called African-Americans, the so-called Negroes and, you know, black people, whatever y'all call yourselves. But we're saying that we are going beyond those titles, obviously, but having to include everybody when it comes to having having our own shit. You know, like I said, the council. There is no African American council or black caucuses. And not saying like I like I said, you know, there there can't be one, but you've had all of this time, ample opportunity up until we came along and said, Hey, let's do this. Let's apply this and not everyone's picking up the ball talking about oh or no they're, they're trying to basically mimic and, and imitate what we're doing over here or like I said what we actually are are talking about when it comes to the message or true message everyone's uh, uh, a chosen messenger now but no not everybody has that message to, to give to enlighten people because you got people who can mimic and copy what, what motherfuckers say so that don't make it like authentic do it no it doesn't so you got people that are good good parrots, good parakeets, they can mimic sounds, you know, mocking jays. Shout out to people who watch the Hunger Games, people who watch the Hunger Games, you know, Katniss and, and everyone else out there. But uh like I say, you know, people are, you know, certain ones are good tape recorders. But they can't receive their own intelligence. They can't project what's naturally flowing through them or what they're able to align with as far as just the source and being able to extract so you guys can hear the winds behind me in the background because the winds are picking up out here the solar winds hell yeah up for shifting shifting things right now during this live right now because it's, it's too much power over here too much soul power too much solar influence in this place called paradise Las Vegas, nevada so we are the ones spoken ones shout out to brother raku omega uni brother af1 fruititarian First Lady Kimberly Elizabeth, shout out to you all. Like I said, we are the council. We are activated minds and souls. Like I said, and as, as the body, this future council, this soul council. So yeah, all the ones out there hating because we are pure aligning. We actually have power. When you look at us, it reflects power. It reflects discipline, leadership, fellowship. As for one, welcome one. So we are vegetarians. We are activationists, activationists. My name is Our Soul, Our Nuclear, Future Ray Raising. We are elevated minds and souls. Elevated, yeah, elevated or activated minds and souls when it comes to, uh, like I said, not teachers, but we are leaders. We didn't come here to teach you all the doctrine and keep on putting the so called modern spin. You know, y'all want to basically add seasoning to, to some fucking, what is it, uh, old expired meat you know and thinking it might taste good versus you know getting getting fresh meat and doing the same thing or like i said what's another expression like i said trying to remix the same song over and over and over again and expecting people to be like oh you know this is a cool ass song like, like motherfuckers that's like old heads you know that heard the original song be like nah back in my day this, this song was you know how they used to say because it's crazy because you know people are comfortable with just you know, hearing the same sh shit like recycled all over, over and over again. That's why you know we're not we're not sitting up here comfortable with the recycled material, aka information. <coughs> we're like, what's next? Boring, boring, boring. <laughs> like shit. Like, can we can we get some something else other than Malcolm X and Martin Luther King and the Nation of Islam and? The Honorable Elijah Muhammad and and who else? Malachi Z York. You know your favorite y'all favorite teachers, but y'all really keep on put on the pedestal. But like I said, you know, no one's perfect or anything, but y'all see, you know, what happened to these so called teachers. Or aka leaders. Some of them were false leaders that I named and some of them were very authentic. I can only name one or two of them, you know, like I said, out of that out of that bunch. 
with that being said, you know, we are moving forward as of ones, walking with ones, we're true, eleven is part and like I said, you know, we're not exempt and we're not saying that we don't want to work with anybody else or any other so called movements out there, but y'all have to be about action. You know, we are not on bullshit. We're not here to sit up here, I mean, we didn't come here to sit up here and like I said, have a have a pity party and you know, talk about all the things that, that aren't right. We're here to actually correct or shift override the things that are not correct or not in alignment. <clears throat> so like I said, our our powers aligned combined can't be stopped. Because we, we are these elevated minds. We are these we are these elevated souls or these activated minds, activated souls. So today's topic is sunships. Sun ships 11,111 to the 111 power asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. Yes, we're up here. You know, these solar winds coming out, coming down uh, within the past uh, day or so. Like I said, just this day in general just been so powerful because of what you know, it's there's, there's more activation going on. Activation is eternal, it's forever. It's not just oh, we get activated one time and that's it. No, it's the continuous the evolution and the growth is another form of, of activation breaking out of a previous state into a new phase or, or into a new state the solar shift the sun shift the sun is supplying and aiding megatons radiation to our very own plane or right now as we speak right now the sun or the sun set maybe three hours ago or two and a half hours ago but we're still feeling the radiance from the wind solar winds no there aren't any clouds outside no it's just pure radiance or it's just the the solar winds those CME solar flares that are only what just the implantation of what the solar intelligence from the physical to the non-physical because you can't see radiation well, you can, depending on, like I said, daytime, yet, yet you're able to see the rays bounce off the so-called uh, pavement or the concrete. But at nighttime, obviously, you can't see radiation, but you can feel it. Or you can start to see that it's beginning to uh, affect certain beings in this space a lot differently. A lot, like for us, we're, we're calm, cool, collected. You know, we're not bothered by the increase or the sudden spikes and shifts here on the planet. But you got certain beings that know, you know, it affects them like, like getting like, you know, a, a shot or something. Like, you know, like the needles, you know, it, it triggers their the nervous the nerves to go, you know, haywire. They lose their mind. They they can't maintain mentally and so mentally, spiritually, or socially because of the uh, rapid increase of radiation and power. The evolution. We keep on stepping forward. We keep we keep moving forward, stepping forward as the council into the future but as a collective as this so-called planet the planet is beginning to evolve a lot faster and faster you blink one second or you blink once and then bang it just it shifts right there that's how fast it's going to be faster than god like i said you know we're going to look up five to ten years from now and be like wow look how far we've come we did it because of the uh, overriding and shifting taking a different route that wasn't the looped route or it wasn't the circle circle path like I said pe people being looped into a circle or their minds and minds souls and spirits being looped with the infinity with the infinite but us we're, we're eternal eternally evolving not being looped for sure but the constant growth the constant expansion of our minds and souls and like I said, going beyond physical, like I said, shifting into the omni state as the omni force, the omni source. So today's topic is sun shift, solar shifts. We are the activationist, the activationist, the ones walking with ones, we're united, futuritarians. Yes, futuritarians. Today's topic is sun shifts, solar shifts, 11,111 to the 111 power, asterisk, 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 yes. Because right now, in the coming days, there's going to be a lot of so-called just unexplained phenomena. Like I said, when it comes to just with their, you know, like I said, the, the whole agenda of trying to hide what's going on with the sun. You know, of course, 
it, it takes us to be independently uh, having to go find these these things like helioviewer.org or spaceweatherlive.com these different websites that basically help you uh, you know, look at the sun a lot closer in more detail but like I said for over here if we really wanted to take a stab at astronomy or the aspect of space we could obviously fund our own space programs quote unquote you know black people African American that's an idea all the billionaires 50 cent to all these major rappers but they're not to, they're not thinking on that level and frequency because they're only of the present and of the past their minds all of their money is it, it's stuck on what the past and present they still you know they, they they're stuck in the business mind frame nothing wrong with that but business is, business is not going to you know be a factor for your soul and mind or especially your soul when you leave this place of course not people will like but but the point being is so why do we hold so much value to it if you if it's not tangible in you can't take it anywhere you can take the you know as far as what your mind has recorded and what you experienced here you know for like I said that'll be stored in your your soul motherboard like you have a like I said your mind has like I said it's like a motherboard or like a, it, it stores a lot of the so-called experiences that you further um from your past lives, but that that story is like your soul was born. Like I said, our minds and our souls are symbiotic when it comes to the the storing and collecting of, like I said, energy, transforming and transforming of energy, energy. So yes, talking about the sun shifting, the soul shifting, or the solar evolution that's taking place, the solar eclipse, the solar eclipsing of the lunar frequency of a uh, of spiritual power or spiritual energies so yes you know that has to happen because it's a new day it's the new age the soul age that's now so moving forward into I said a bright, brighter days ahead brighter days ahead which they might call the golden day I mean, the golden age but no this is the solar age the solar age the age of soul solar influence soul power and not the so-called soul power movement that they had back in the 70s and 60s or whatnot. No, we're talking about the true soul movement, the true soul power from from on high or from beyond this space and place, which people really can't fathom. What do you mean beyond this space and place? Yes, there there's there's realities beyond this space and place. There's a a omni reality beyond the so-called created spaces and planes. So the omni plane or the uh, the omni space and place that which we are as the omni source and the omni force going beyond limitation of the mind and soul and our collective power people might hate on this because they can't tap in they can't dial into the right frequency because their minds are scatterbrained they they have a scattered brain like my father said people you know they, they watch the so-called idiot boxes aka tv and their programs so having to sit up there and try to undo all of that programming a lot of motherfuckers don't want to do that because I mean excuse me <laughs> not the motherfuckers but a lot of people don't want to do that because it, it takes time and they don't want to do the work they don't want to have to reset refresh empty out their uh, trash bin within their mental storage to become a free receiver a free thinker for people who don't understand what, what actually receiving is but being a free thinker or a free receiver receiving what the new the new ideas the new intel not the information not all of that which keeps you stagnated as far as your mind and your soul or your spirit because we're saying that we understand that there are certain ones that people who are they're internally powered their 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 quote quote unquote intel core that powers them up or their power source is either spirit spirit or soul so we're soulful beings which is why we're only pushing forth the solar evolution or the soul shifting or the solar shifting the sun shifts because our primary sun isn't the only sun shifting obviously but there are the magnitude of other stargates and portals that are also evolving expanding some are dying some new ones are being born or being projected 
being formed out of exploding or dying stars to become bigger stars or bigger <coughs> portals or bigger generators of what? Solar intelligence or solar power. So like I said, energy is never it's not created nor destroyed, but it's always been. So it, everything is being, especially within the circuit universe or within the so-called voids of creations, energy is being recycled. That's the only thing that should be so-called recycled is the intel or like I said, dealing with the dark matter and energy that makes up everything as far as just the structure and foundation that we're in. You know, that should be recycled or that should be further utilize for something else other than just you know people, people just, just throw away certain things like you know they might throw away certain things that are still good but like, like how the saying goes one man trash is the next man's treasure so that being said you know our minds and souls over here like I said are receiving new and next things like I said, the new and next intel when it comes to uh, building and structuring out this new world but utopia, everything is in you, not N E W, but it's the N U, the N in the the N in the U, the U for the magnetic attraction, the pulling, and as well as the repelling or the propelling of energy, aka that becomes energy once it's it's once it's received by its intended target, or once it's received or able to be processed by the so-called the so-called intended target pretty much so that being said only focusing on shifting the evolving uh, of our minds and souls us as a collective but like I said us becoming more and more aware of our purposes our purpose is becoming more and more clear to us as we begin to immerse more into or align more with the source the Omni Source, the Omni Force. Not talking about G.O.D. I'm saying that we are the Omni Force. We are the Omni Source. People are gonna give like, what do you mean? We're not gods. We're not goddesses. We're not any of these. Because if you think that you're not on that level, then like I said, you know, that that's that's up to you to believe what you want to believe about yourself. But we believe, or we go beyond belief, but we understand, or we see ourselves higher than limitation of what you might think about us or anyone else so we're not caught up in limitation of, of our minds and souls based on people who are limited or choose to accept see how it's windy out here but you know we don't choose to accept what you know what you guys might think the end all be all is we understand or we understand and now we understand and understand that there is no end there is no there is no limit to how far power goes what power can become Limitation of the minds and souls, like I said, is the reason why, or people who try to project that on people's minds, is the reason why you have what you have in the so-called black community. <clears throat> that crab in a barrel mindset. <clears throat> that crab in a barrel mindset, which is a so-called undercurrent to the so-called overriding of, like I said, the uh, past and present uh, mind frame. Like I said, we call it the capsule mind frame or a dualistic mind frame because people who are still battling with positive and negative one day they're happy the next day they're actually you know they're sad angry whatever but like I said you know, we're not living in that roller coaster mind frame or like I said that uh, viewpoint like I said for us everything is neutral we're not like I said happy nor nor are we sad but we're we're only I guess satisfied with like I said our growth our evolution by us coming together everything else doesn't matter like celebrating about things that don't really matter like I said the, the uh, football games basketball games as far as like in the NBA or the NFL like I said you know we're not not saying you know that that's something that you guys can't do but like for us we're not here for that we're not here to sit up here and glorify the bread and circus like Rome like like Roman Rome did to the people you know they get they get in a Coliseum which is why they have the same so-called setups here all over all over the world now stadiums to, to do what keep you guys looped but stadium is shaped like a what it's shaped like a zero because what does it do it keeps you looped people who are mentally still looped on what the, the past and present the duality the past and present but they can't focus on one goddamn thing which is what the future what's next what's beyond 
me talking on these damn, you know, us us talking on these damn uh, social media platforms and people trying to, you know, flex. Oh, I got this kind of money over here. Or I'm this rich. I'm that. Like nobody cares about that, especially when the state of the planet is fucked up, or it's in need of repair. I mean, it's it's not in like this this repair. I mean, in unrepair, but it can be like I said, there can be a lot of improvements going on on, on all spectrum I mean, on all spectrums and in all spaces and places. So we're here to bring forth more awareness, and our voice carries the volume. Of the future, or our our voice carries the power from the ones from the future. It carries the elevated frequency, and it carries that, like I said, that that power to do what to activate you to get off your ass and either do something, or if it doesn't, you know, because maybe you don't have a soul, maybe you you're not real. <laughs> I mean, what else is it at this point? Like, either you get this or you don't get it. And if you don't get it, then it's because you can't align or like I say you know you can't catch the frequencies or you can't catch the intel because your mind and soul are are blocked or acting as a shield to the intel so you're shielding your you, you're, you're blocking what they say blocking your blessings pretty much <laughs> you're blocking your blessings aka you, you're blocking your so-called ability to, to level up and upgrade next now <laughs> moving forward we are the ones walking with ones until next time today's topic was sun shifts aka with solar evolution not the solar revolution no we're not pushing forth revolution we're pushing forth evolution the evolution we evolve not 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 evolve but like i said talking about revolving doors or things that spin or go in circles no we're not doing that mentally or socially we're advancing we're growing we're elevating next now so if that's not clear enough, well, it's a revolution. No, it's not. It's an evolution. It's a soul evolution. It's a solar shift. Anything that shifts, it doesn't shift backwards. It will only keep shifting forward. Caterpillars, the butterflies can't become caterpillars anymore. They become butterflies and then that's it. You know, they start off as an egg, grew out of the egg into a freaking caterpillar, made a cocoon. They became butterflies. But like that, that's the point of evolution people people really can't fathom or get when it comes to us you know we're, we're gonna come here you know as as babies newborns with that fresh mind absorb everything in our in our, our, our surroundings our environments you know it can make or break you now but for us you know it, it didn't make or break us we, we only prevailed and evolved beyond all odds and adversities pushed against us which shows that we were actually chosen or predestined to do what call forth other chosen ones to build this council to, to, to you know, do what we're doing right now actually bringing forth the you know like i said activational um like i said the activational intel or the new next intel to do what to activate the minds and souls of people who are, are, are dormant those ones who are of the chosen 200 rising those who are of the chosen um yeah 200 rising the chosen well uh, yeah the elect 200 rising the elect 200 rising um or because i think like, the elect chosen ones and the elect to the rising. So other than that, moving forward into more leadership fellowship as the council. So yes, we're only pushing forth the elect chosen ones and the elect to the rising because you know, again of the past and presently people still push what? The one hundred and forty four thousand. And you've had over one hundred and forty four thousand people who've talked about what? At least the same spirituality, the same consciousness, the same pan Africanism, the same you know that the old world knowledge that was once you know they they called it the occult knowledge but now it's everyone's trying to receive the intel because they know that the occult knowledge is not the end all be all now and a lot of you all are cut off from being able to receive the intel because guess what y'all have to come over here and bite from us y'all have to come over here and attack me or brother AF1 or like I said once on the council like I said going to motherfuckers inboxes and shit you know on some weird goofy shit you goofy ass niggas like, y'all y'all just y'all weird that's some weird ass instead of building y'all want to try to infiltrate y'all want to be the same things that the fucking humans were y'all are human agents y'all are clones y'all been programmed with the same mind frame as the goddamn beast as the same guy as the goddamn humans the orcs mankind so many goddamn words y'all still program with Y'all are programmed with that same mentality trying to talk about y'all the future. It doesn't work it doesn't work work that way. 
y'all y'all have to let go of that old mind frame, the old programs that, that kept y'all looped in and keep y'all looped now. Y'all don't want to hear this because it's it's too much volume over here. It's too it's too real. It's too elevated, brother, sister. No, it's 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 about saying what needs to be said to bring forth what change shift. Not just you know awareness, but it, it's only to it's it's to bring forth action. The shift, the sun shift, the solar shift. So other than that, we're ones walking ones. Until next time, I am our soul, our nuclear future ray. Until, until next time, we are the council, elevated activationist, elementalist. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm, I just at this point, we really have to do better, people. And, and like I said, we're all being accountable for our actions. Uh, Especially over here, like, so we're not perfect, but we we see a lot of bullshit going on. We see a lot of foul, a foul, foul play. You know what they say? You know when you playing playing sports, you know that's a foul. When you foul the other player on on offensive defense, but no, you know there's, there's there's a whole bunch of shit that needs to be addressed. And like I said, for us to do to project future projects that that will come into the uh, come into fruition or come into reality as we work together. As we, as we all stay aligned as the council, so moving forward, uh, I am our soul, our nuclear future ray raising. Shout out to the council, brother Raku and Mega Uni, brother AF1, Futurian, again, brother AF1, Futurian, and again, first ladies Kimberly, Elizabeth, and like I said, all others that we are aligned with, brother Anthony, check him out with his uh, learning program called Sweet Pea Learning. Check him out, brother Anthony. As well as with his son learning with Jaden, like I said, his son, you know, they're very, very uh, great in chemistry. Like I said, when it comes to bringing forth, you know, the day in life for them, as well as their education program that they have, like I said, just really prevailing. Shout out to those brothers and their family. Like I said, you know, we are an activationist, activationist. We are one spoken once again. Check out Brother Anthony with Sweet Pea Learning and Learning with Jaden. On Instagram, here on Instagram and YouTube, like I said, you know, the future of child education, the future of, like I said, us raising the future ones after us, basically. You know, us being more involved with our uh, with our children's education or their so-called learning and having a process and becoming aware of what things are, like I said, it was a very, very crucial and important time that we need to be involved with our children's lives. So, not having like I said the information being projected to them or given to them like I said you know in these classroom settings in in a public class like I said you know we need to be working with our our young ones you know as young as you know them being able to pick up a damn crayon and crayon you know scribble and draw like I said starting with that like it's focusing on them when they're very very young is very very important so other than that we're once walking with once only pushing for leadership fellowship uh, council and soul power. So we are ones walking once. Till next time, I am our soul, our nuclear future ray raising. We are the United Futuritarians. Until next time, there's nowhere to hide. Oh, also pushing P, pushing P, pushing solar power and not little power. Say fuck the uh, LP, but it's about the SP, solar power. I'm moving forward to more, uh, like I said, solar evolution, solar expansion because of our openness to receive from the future which is all solar based, which is all, like I said, of that continuous eternal evolution of our minds and our souls, but as us, us as a collective soul source, that giant neutron star, us being neutral next to beings. So glad to be alive, activated, mentally and soulfully, and like I said, there's nowhere to hide. When the future is coming your way, <laughs> there's nowhere to hide. Peace our soul. <laughs> Until next time, one. We are one. We are one. Oh.